think this particular person has a very interesting story. Her name is Patajara Theri. Theri means uh, she ordained as the female Buddhist monk. She was born rich. She was born very beautiful. Somehow life doesn't go well, you know, as parents expect. She got pregnant with one of her maid servants. So they both decided to, to run away from family. So they run away and then they start their own family in the very rural area. Life was very tough. They are afraid that their parents will not forgive them for what they did. Because parents tried to arrange the marriage between her and another rich family. Somehow, you know, they cannot do that because their daughter ran away from them. So um, eventually she wants to come back home and ask for forgiveness. So she has two children with that, uh, that husband. On the way back, you know, to home, her husband died because of the, the snake. He got bit by the snake, so he died. So two children, one is the baby and another one is very young, you know, young boy. And she tried to take them both across the river, but she has to take one baby at a time. So she took the first one and left them, you know, at the bank of the river. And then on the way back to pick up another boy, okay, there was the, the big bird. And the big bird come out from nowhere and take that baby away. And she tried to scare the bird by shouting, by waving her hand. The kid that went, you know, on another river bank saw her mother waving her hand. So he, he misunderstanding that, hey, maybe mom is calling me. So he stepped into the water and the water took him away, so he died. So now both children die. So she walked to the river bank and sat there and started to cry. So in one day, she lost husband. She lost two of her children. She almost gone crazy. So she decided, okay, I'm going to go back to my family and ask for forgiveness as she planned before. So she started walking. And along the way, she met one man and she asked the man that well, maybe this man know, you know my father and my mother. So she just asked the man, do you know this, uh, this family? And the man said, yes, I know. Okay? Uh, I know this uh, millionaire family. What happened last night was there was a big storm that hit their house. So the house collapsed. So everyone in the house died. So that means parents died, including her older brother died. Three people died. Once she know that, it's extremely bad news for her. Her mom, her dad, and her brother died. So now she had no one. She lost everything in her life. So she gone crazy. She running around naked and, and you know, well, to keep the story short, eventually she met the Buddha. The Buddha gave her some teaching. And um, later on she had uh, attained the Soda Patana. She has attained Soda Patana, has achieved the first level of enlightenment. And then she got herself ordained as Pikuni. So she is a uh, uh, Pikuni or female monk who happened to be the most outstanding in the Vinaya. Okay? She understands the Vinaya better than others. And one day when she was practicing meditation, okay, she's good at you know, practice mindfulness. On that day, after she finished her meditation practice, walking meditation practice, she came back to her place and she sat down and she was washing her feet. So she took a bowl of water and started pouring into her leg. So the water ran from her knees all the way further down to her ankle. And then she took another bowl of water and poured again. So the water ran from her ankle further to her feet. And then the last bowl of water, she start pouring and the water run from her feet and below. So by attentively reflect on this phenomenon, eventually she was enlightenment and have attained our handship. Because she reflect on the law of nature, she said, you know, there, there are people who live very short life. There are people who live a little bit longer life, and there are people who live longer than normal average life. But 
in each state of life, people can die. Death is always there. People can die in, in any moment. This thought gave her some wisdom. So her mind was detached from everything. She eventually attained liberation just by reflect on this phenomenon. So imagine that if you fully understand the law of nature that nothing lasts forever, everything is tukka and there's no self. If you truly understand, truly see, okay, it would help you to let go everything a lot easier and you can live your life happier. And I'd like to finish with that. Better than a hundred years in life of a person who does not perceive the arising and dissolving of the five aggregates is a day in the life of one who perceives the arising and dissolving of the five aggregates. Again, if you can live for 100 years, but you never re reflect upon your life, reflect upon, you know, this three law of nature. Okay? Everything is impermanent, everything is dukkha, and there is no self. People who live one day and reflect on that is better. And that's what it means. So we have come to the conclusion that the three law of characteristics, the Buddha did not create it. The Buddha is the one who discovered it. This is the law of nature, whether he exists or not. This law is always there. People who have higher wisdom will be able to notice and will be able to understand. And that's what the Buddha is trying to say. And he emphasized that in many places in the Buddhist text. So as the Buddhist monk or as the people who study Dhamma, we should be aware of the true nature of things. We should be able to see things as the way they are. And by seeing things and accepting as the way they are, we can live our life happier. We can have less conflict in life. And we can live life, you know, harmony when we associate with people around us. And with that, I'm done for today. And I hope everyone learned something. And uh, uh, please take it back and, and, and put everything into practice.